Mental health has become an epidemic, and in the next few years, it is predicted to pass every other uh, health-related disease, and it's only continuing to get worse with time. Schools and, I mean, students have been suffering uh, with mental health for many years, and with the recent uptake in technology in school, it's gotten much worse. Typically, a student spends seven hours a day at school, which makes it the perfect place to, to work on areas where they're struggling, one of those areas being mental health. And during this presentation, we'll be going over why mental health in a student is important, why the current system in schools isn't working, and possible and simple solutions to the problem. People are their most vulnerable during adolescence, which makes, a, 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 which makes mental health very important for a teenager at this age and can have detrimental effects on them when they're older if they're not prepared hard, well enough. So, some of these things that it can cause is it can, it can affect energy levels, dependability, mental ability, concentration, all of which schools pride themselves on supporting you to prepare you for the future for. Eighty percent of students have felt stress in the la uh, feel stress on a daily basis. Thirteen percent of students have been uh, have felt depressed in the last three months. Thirteen percent of students have been diagnosed with an anxiety related condition, and nine percent have been felt suicidal in the last year, according to CollegeStats.org. These are really concerning statistics because of how truly like many students are suffering with these problems and. 4.9 million students as of 2015 dropped out because of mental health related uh, conditions in school. So for a, a place that prides themselves on preparing you for the future, they seem to be ignoring something that can have detrimental side effects on it. For many students, it's not that they won't get help, it's just that they don't have access to the help they need. Schools have a system in place currently that is Schools have a system in place currently that is helpful to students, but it can use some improvement. Teachers are there. Uh, teachers help uh, identify students who may be dealing with issues and refer them to a the proper place to go, such as a social worker or counselor. A social worker at school, their job is to be the bridge, basically, between you and school and you and outside. And they can work as uh, getting you help with therapy, counselors, getting your parents involved if something is troubling at you at school. And then there's counselors who typically don't work with mental health, but will do uh, school-related solutions to problems you have. Now, as beneficial as these roles are, the problem is that we just simply don't have enough of them. It is recommended that there be one social worker for every 250 students, but for many schools, that's not the case. It might even be one social worker for the entire school. Same goes for counselors. So the trend is, it's, it's not that they have a problem with what they're doing, it's just that they don't have enough of what they, all, what they need to get it done. Many people believe that it's not the school's problem to deal with mental health because that is something that should fall on the family or the student to work on, especially since many people believe that it's not as important as physical health. But this, this is wrong and I disagree with it. Because like stated earlier, it, mental health can have detrimental side effects in school. And part of the thing that school's job is to prepare you for includes that area of mental health, which is why it should be focused, along with the fact that the student spends most of their life, early life, at school, which makes it the, the perfect and only place that they could get a lot of uh, mental health work done. So during this presentation, I mean, nope. <laughs> so, some possible and simple solutions though to this problem would be not to spend more money to get, uh, to get more tools in, to get more stuff in. It would be simply to just reorganize what we already have to help redefine what schools view as a mental health issue and, what, and view as what affects a student in their daily life, as well as change how teachers uh, identify and educate students on where to go uh, to get help, as well as educating students on when, where, and how to seek help for their mental health.
Another thing is we can use community resources to redirect scholarships to students who may be dealing with extra troubles than other students. All of these are relatively cheap and simple solutions that could help redirect and reorganize the system we already have to make it as best as possible. I'd like to thank you all for listening. Today we went over why mental health in students is important, why the current system in schools isn't working, and possible and simple solutions to the problem. Thank you.